Yeah, uh, uh, I'll make it simple for you. The other way is the insulin potentiation therapy is also IPT for short. It's something that um, it's it it it's been used since about the 1930s to help enhance the effects of medications into cells. Um, there's a family line of doctors from Mexico, uh, Dr. Dr. Donato Garcia. There's a grandfather, there's a, the, his son, and there's a grandson that have been using the concept of insulin to enhance the effects of medication into cells and to enhance the effects of chemotherapy medicines into cancer cells. So that you need a lower dose of medications chemotherapy drugs um, than the standard high dose, you know, ram them hard versus using low dose. And, and the concept of it is actually is quite interesting, personally. Um, when you look at the research on the use of IPT, there isn't a lot of published data on it. A lot of it is considered anecdotal, a lot of case reports. But these case reports have also been presented to the National Institute in the United, United States, the NIH. NIH right. um, there's been some interesting small research done in breast cancer patients, where um, they were resistant or to they were advanced cancers, and and they when they were added say insulin to a chemotherapy drug, they people started to respond. Oh. So it tells you that there could be something to the using insulin to enhance the effect of medicines and chemotherapy and natural health products into cells and cancer cells. So this treatment would be used in conjunction with chemotherapy and... Uh, yeah. Like How you had to look at it, it's an enhancement tool to make standard treatments work better. And that's what you're always trying to do with, with a lot in cancer, uh, cancer treatments is is uh, that's kind of being missing is that you're trying to make them work better and that's what we're all trying to do and so how how insulin has a, a an impact in cancer is based on a couple mechanisms that's quite quite interesting when you look at say a cancer cell they want to grow and they use a lot of uh, sugar, sugar and right. carbohydrates yeah. mm -hmm. as a fuel source right. just like your regular cells do but what's unique about a cancer cell is that because they want to really, really grow, they want to grow more so than your regular cells, they have a higher need for insulin. They have, it's called insulin receptors. So they have 10 times the amount more insulin receptors than, say, a normal cell does. Wow. So that means they have 10 times a greater need of insulin, you know, than a regular cell does. And, of course, insulin pulls in sugar from the bloodstream to the cell, right? That's right. Like Which what, they need to grow. Just like with a diabetic, when what insulin does, it opens the doorways so that the, so that the sugar can get into the cell and be used. Mm. And so, what these doctors have discovered from Mexico and other researchers too is that, well, if this is the structure of these cancer cells, what would happen if we gave insulin to these patients? So we're actually inducing a low blood sugar state, and right at that time when their people are feeling this low blood sugar state, we inject chemotherapy or natural health products into them and see what happens. And, and, and what they've noticed when you look at, say, research done in test tube, that when you're adding the effect of insulin to, say, chemotherapy drugs, their effects are amplified like up to 10,000 times. Wow. Yeah, it's quite interesting. And so, so that's why for those that use insulin, they feel that you don't need the standard dose, the regular standard strong doses of chemotherapy. You can actually cut them down to actually one tenth the dose. So in turn, using lower dose, you're getting a therapeutic effect, and because the chemotherapy medicines are less, the side effects are less. And when the side effects are less, patients are happier, quality of life is better, and that's why the use of IPT is gaining strides in the field of cancer care. What is um, IPT regimen like in your practice? Well, the, the use of IPT, how it's, how, how it's standardly given is you're, you're, you're inducing these type of low blood sugar states once a week, maybe even twice a week if a patient can handle it, and you want to do them for about six to eight treatments to evaluate what's happening. And then from there, you can start to decrease the frequency uh, based on responses, based on uh, looking at you know, blood tests, tumor markers, signs and symptoms, etc., and all this would be done while they're on chemotherapy, right? Um, yeah. Or would you also prescribe uh, this treatment for um, patients who have done their runs or chemo before that? 
Well, the, the use of, the use of IPT um, is is trickier with standard chemo because mm. um, because it can enhance the effects of standard treatment so strongly that it, you can actually potentially increase the risks of the toxicities as right. well. Mm. So it's something that you don't really want to to incorporate a lot with standard chemotherapy treatments. It's something that you want to either incorporate together with natural health products, you know, like say mistletoe or Ukraine or that kind of world, mm -hmm. and, um, and do it that way. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a more of a tool to try to enhance the effects of the treatments that you're given, and it's something that you monitor patients just like any other type of treatment that's out there.